four victims so far. Could there be more? That's what several law enforcement agencies in Northern Virginia are trying to figure out as they scour missing persons reports in the state looking for similarities. Dating sites, motels, blunt force trauma, shopping cart, final resting place. A pattern several Northern Virginia police agencies have been following since September. And now they believe they have their suspect. Anthony Robinson, age 35, was arrested um, as a result of video surveillance and cell phone records that connected him to two uh, victims. The first victim, as Chief Davis uh, mentioned, was Elizabeth Redmond, age 54, of Harrisonburg, and Tanita Lurie Smith, age 39, of Charlottesville. Police believe he then scouted his next victim at the metro station in Washington, D.C., Cheyenne Brown disappeared September 30th. Cell phone data led police to the Moon Inn off Route 1 in Fairfax County. Remembering that the victims in the Harrisonburg murders were transported by using a shopping cart, detectives observed a shopping cart in the wooded area not far from the Moon Inn. Besides the shopping cart was a lone container. Inside, human remains. The tentative identification is based upon a very distinct tattoo that Ms. Brown had on her body. Police say Robinson has ties to D.C. and New York and believes this string of dating app disappearances may not be his only killings. We have determined that the suspect in custody in Harrisonburg was communicating with Ms. Brown, utilizing a dating website. Detectives are hoping that further examination of, of these records that uh, we have and more that are coming will provide uh, additional information on who the second victim is. Major Ed O'Carroll heads up Fairfax County's Major Crimes Unit and believes they have at least one more victim, bringing the total to four. Fairfax PD, an agency now reaching out to others all across the state, saying if they have similar information, they need to talk. He's a predator, as all serial killers are, and it's our uh, collective effort in, in law enforcement to do everything we can uh, with each other, with the community, to identify other places where he has been so we can bring closure and ultimately justice. He preys on the weak, he preys on the, the, the vulnerable, um, and he does unspeakable things with his victim. Now, Bill, I checked with my sources within the Metro Richmond Police Departments, including Caroline, Petersburg, and Spotsylvania counties, all of them say right now they do not have similar cases, but as you heard the Fairfax County Major say, their investigation will be widespread and thorough.